Hey guys, Jackson Savvy here. And today we're gonna go over just some Windows audio and some of the nuance of it. And we'll lead into a way that you can manage all your app volumes just real quickly at a glance and a click. So this is not taking into account anything like Voice Meter Banana or the Elgato Wave 3 software that'll start adding a lot of virtual inputs. Now, Windows handles sound basically in a hierarchy. And that's with most stuff in computing, but specifically when you look at all your devices, when you go into Windows 10 sound options, this is what you'll come to. That's their newer menu. And the older one from control panel is right here. And just at a glance, you can see how many devices you actually have in your system. Right now I'm showing the disabled and disconnected ones. So I can see right away you got Steam has its own setting, uh, Oculus does my, what is that, the uh, Dell monitors I have have their own sounds, my JBL speakers, my headphones, everything. Now I've even got a, a capture card that's not enabled right now that'll add more to that. The main point being, these are all possibilities for playback and input. So by hierarchy, I mean Windows is going to start right here or right here, whichever way you're looking at it. Like right now, I'm talking to y'all on an Elgato Wave 3, going through RTX Voice or NVIDIA Broadcast. So the main place you start is picking your output device for your sound. In this case, I'm just using my speakers, but you pick your output device and then you pick your input device. In this case, it's NVIDIA Broadcast which is going through here, but if you look back at my recording tab, that is my default within Windows. So everything stems from your sound settings. Now, when you get into something like streaming or just your own like personal mix when you're playing a game or doing stuff on the computer, it can get a little annoying trying to get all the volumes where you want it through like a Chrome tab here or going through Discord there or just doing everything as one so one thing I did notice today if you'll scroll down in your sound menu in Windows there's an advanced sound options right here and it actually says app volume and device preferences if you'll click on that you'll get to see all your open apps and be able to control the volume independently so like right here Google Chrome I had turned down to 20 because I think I was running a uh, YouTube music through it and if I had Discord open, you know, I could turn the volume down on that instead of just controlling everything through the master volume there. So that's one way you can kind of get your volume leveled to where you want per app. Now, what that won't do is exclude sounds if you're streaming, because if you were streaming, your master volume would uh, basically be the mix of everything that you're streaming out. And like I said, no voice meter banana, no uh, Wave 3 software. So if you're streaming, this is what you would hear. Whatever you've got mixed into here, which is a culmination of all of these apps. So this is a quick way to get it leveled the way you want to. Now, instead of having to go find that each time, if you do want a quick way to access it, I've got a website here that I'll link in the description. And really all you need to know is you right click on your desktop, click new, shortcut, and then you copy and paste this right here. Hit next. And you can type a name for it, whatever you want. We'll call it volumes. Hit finish. And there's our shortcut. And what that'll do, let's close this out. So if you had this on your second monitor or wherever, double click it and straight to it instead of having to search, click, click. Now the other one is one that I've been using for some time and we can go ahead and close all this out. I had a lot of this open to kind of show how convoluted it gets because like I have mine going to an external DAC on a SteelSeries Pro, which is supposed to fall back to the JBL speakers when it's not on. But I also sometimes use the mic, so it gets really convoluted really quick. But just remember, everything kind of starts with Windows Sound and what you've got picked for your defaults. 
but the other one is called ear trumpet and this is in the microsoft store it's totally free and i actually don't know if it's launched or not because i think it's automatic but i do still have it running but when you install that you'll come down here to your taskbar and now you'll see you've got two different volumes here here's my speakers or whatever output device you've got but right here to the right is what ear trumpet does and it gives you sliders for each of those volumes just like we saw in the windows sound settings and you can expand this up but you really don't need to too often but it'll show you everything that's kind of encompassed on that but let's say you're streaming and you just need a quick way to turn down like warzone it'll have it right here you can slide it on down put it wherever you want discord same thing but like i said this won't exclude audio when you want to start excluding audio like music you're listening to on the computer that you don't want to be streamed that'll be a whole different video <laughs> but guys hope this helps somebody just something to kind of get your volumes going uh, if y'all got any comments or better solutions definitely stick them down there and uh thanks for watching